I'm sure you are anxious uh, to ask me your questions, so uh, let's get started. What is the person of Arlene and what is meaning in life, mainly professionally? In a sentence, uh, personal branding is uh, one's own reputation that follows you uh, wherever you go. So uh, we might say it's quite crucial. Um, it's true, however, that we have been thinking uh, about branding mainly in the professional aspect. However, I think that it's equally important uh, privately. Uh, it often defines um, who we are, who we are in business with, or what kind of people we are surrounded by. So if you think about it, very often subconsciously we make daily decisions uh, having someone's branding in mind. Uh, we go to a particular hairdresser or a particular car mechanic just because we we know, we heard that their branding is good, so in other words, that they are good uh, professionals. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. But who and when should be the personal brand? Who and when? Um, uh, in my opinion, everyone. Uh, if, you look, if, you look, uh, if you look at your life, we start from the very early age. We are taught by our parents how to behave, um, how to have good manners, uh, how to uh, work at school up to your abilities. So branding related things spring from our childhood if they are properly rooted within us. Later, when we are adults, um, we start thinking about branding more seriously. Sometimes we don't call it branding, but we start thinking about our personal image more, um, more professionally. Um, and I think this bring, brings us to our next question. Okay, thank you. Uh, so students should uh, work on their personal building, yeah? Students, by all means, it's, you could say it's the highest time for them to think about their image. Um, they should think about it uh, as much as they think about their good grades, exams, and their future development. The sooner they are, they become aware um, about it, the importance of branding, the better. Um, just to give an example, many employers uh, cooperate with universities, and they um, they have many programs open to hire interns, um, to hire juniors. So naturally, a university will recommend top students, the best students that they have. Um, years ago, we heard about it, uh, meaning that big companies hire people from juniors from universities. Now it is quite common in Poland as well. And uh, when, how, where? What's the first steps for me, for example, uh, to make my personal brand? Oh, things have changed uh, since uh, I was a student. Um, it's way easier now. Um, we, universities have careers offices. Uh, there are good specialists over there, that, and they are ready to help. Uh, also, it might be a good game changer for you because uh, you get this consultancy for free. Uh, what is more, they cooperate with a lot of people, um, such as human advisors, consultants, um, you can you can get some uh, some assistance from from them as well, and as far as the first steps are concerned, <laughs> you may um, you may laugh, but um, I still come across quite a few CVs that are poorly written. You may think that it's such an easy task, but uh, uh, apparently it's not. So. Uh, preparing a good CV, uh, working with some um, templates, it's a very nice exercise. Um, so take the templates, edit them, have them checked, um, and later move to something more uh, complicated such as enumerating your interpersonal skills or technical skills, for example. And they take another step. As I remember a moment when I making a CV, it was a very big problem we had in the university courses for making a CV, but 
it was very helpful, but it's still very hard thing to do. Yeah, sometimes I think that the only template is, is it's called Europass, and the only font is Times New Roman. Yeah. Oh yeah. How important uh, is one's reputation made during studies, and uh, how does it affect from the past studying times? Well, university times can definitely be interesting. Um, they can, I mean, studies, during studies, you can or even should define who you are, um, who you're going to be uh, in the professional future. And as far as branding is concerned, I think it does not really matter whether uh, it was during the university times that the students discovered what they are going to do or they had discovered that earlier. Uh, the important thing for me is, I think, the eagerness for people to be as good as it possibly gets at what they are going to do. To be a good software writer, to be a good uh, car mechanic, to be a good hairdresser, and so on and so forth. So, it's far, it's, it's, it's far easier now than before, as I, as I said, and also um, and also, uh, you, get, you can get some assistance from the, from the university. And also, the university will promote you because it's a two-way street. Uh, universities would like to say, oh, we've got good students, we cooperate with companies, and uh, students are going to be happy because they got good education. And what do you think about student uh, organization? Is it helpful to make in my brand? Oh, of course, always. <laughs> always. How important is building your contact network during studies? Um, you know, I don't know if it's a good analogy, but I'm going to use it. When I was about to start college, um, many people told me that contacts, friends, friendships made during studies can last a lifetime. I have to admit that I did not make friendships for life with my fellow students. But um, professionally, we cooperate from time to time. For example, I have graduated over 17 years ago. Uh, and for the past four years, I have been cooperating with one person uh, that I uh, studied with. Um, and uh, I just remember that she was very good. She wanted, to be, uh, she wanted to be a good specialist. So I made contact with her and, uh, and we started cooperating. The significant factor, sometimes people forget that and people uh, take it for granted, but when I was graduating, or when I, when I was a student, there was no internet access. I mean, nothing, nothing like it is right now. Very few time, people, exactly, very few people had cell phones. Uh, very few people had unlimited broadband access. So, um, so comparing to, um, to today, it was way, way different. So it's obvious conclusion that nowadays it's way easier to, um, to stay in touch with people and I would definitely encourage you to do so. Uh, what and who can help uh, building students' personal story? You know, I know about a service LinkedIn, mm -hmm. I think, but for most part of students, it looks like a kind of ancient magic. You know, <laughs> it's some place with people, some time get something, and what is, what is it, how it looks? Um, jokingly, well, I can help you. <laughs> people like me can help you. Um, you know, university invites me uh, to have some workshops with uh, students from time to time, so this, um, the, the notion of branding comes up. Um, really, uh, I think, at least those are my observations, that people, I mean students, uh, don't need much guidance. They need a little push. Um, sometimes they need to be directed. Um, the important thing for them is to, uh, is to remember that the initiative is on their side. Uh, they should not be afraid to ask questions. They should not be afraid to step out of their comfort zones. Um, and those who know me, uh, uh, they know that um, I, like, uh, I like the late uh, Steve Jobs. And once he said, um, stay hungry, stay foolish. This is one of my favorite quotes. 
Uh, so I think it's not a bad one, especially for somebody whose professional career is about to start. Uh, however, Groton is being active online. We don't have so much time now in real life, and sometimes we spend time online on Instagram or Facebook, but it's not growing about some personal brand. Well, <laughs> uh, well if I was to ask you, uh, do you have an Instagram or Facebook account? The major majority of your friends would say sure. Uh, basically, the same rule applies to other um, to other sites such as LinkedIn or uh, Upwork or Glassdoor or others. Um, and LinkedIn, for example, should reflect your, um, your CV and more. You can network online, you can watch webinars online, uh, you, can, you can study online, you can be headhunted for. So basically, uh, to put this plain, it's quite crucial. If you think, if you think about branding, uh, if you think about building your own image, young people for sure 100% will say the internet. Be active there. Yeah. Okay, so maybe uh, it's the moment when I want to ask other viewers, uh, do you have any questions to Mr. Lukash? We are waiting for questions here in uh, comment. In comments, sorry, usually I use Polish language. <laughs> maybe you can tell now uh, some interesting story, maybe another interesting story about uh, today's uh, personal branding. I think that nowadays, mm, nowadays a lot of people, students especially, think that things are going to be given to them just because they will graduate oh, yeah, from... We think, we think about it. <laughs> well, but it doesn't come for free. Um, and just because you have a, a good diploma, you graduate from a good university, it does not mean that uh, things will magically happen. Um, so, I would say come up with initiatives and don't start thinking about your career during your senior year because it might be too late. I'm not saying it is 100%, but you study for three, four, five years. So it, uh, it's enough time to be active. It's, it's enough time to take part in um, many fairs uh, that uh, that are organized um, in the least recent times mostly online but it's but that still can be very valuable um, and also uh, and also don't be asked uh, don't be afraid to ask for help again uh, comparing to uh, to the times when I was a student it was a different kind of world there were no exchange programs uh, almost nothing uh, ac access to English-speaking books, for example, Engl sorry, English writ books written in English, um, uh, was not that common. So there are plenty of things that students can do now that I couldn't, or people my age couldn't. Okay, and we have a first question from Karolina Kavoda. Uh, what do you think about branding personally on the internet? Does it make sense, especially for us students? Yeah, well, partially I answered, but sure. <laughs> yes, um, as I said before, um, uh, do it, uh, to put it plain. If you don't know how, ask. Uh, as much as you take care of your Instagram account, uh, take care of your uh, other account, uh, such as LinkedIn or Upwork or others. But... Um, People would like to be headhunted. Everybody would like to be offered a job. So if there's a recruiter who is searching for certain people, well, allow them to be found. Because if you aren't active online, no one will find you. I mean, very, very rarely people open a regular newspaper and search for jobs or, or, or show or read what kind of jobs ads, ads are published. 
So ev everything goes online right now. So um, if you'd like to be headhunted for, if you'd like to build your own image, I would do it. Okay, and maybe another question. Uh, which website do you recommend to build a personal brand and why is from Kavina? Oh, it depends. Uh, it really depends. Um, you've got, in Poland, you've got websites such as uh, Prasuper.l. You've got um, websites, um, of course, LinkedIn is the most popular in the world, but actually in Germany, Xing, is, if I'm not mistaken, is the most popular. So it really depends. LinkedIn, I guess, is the most universal, but it, de but it depends what kind of profession would you like to have? Uh, there are special websites for people who are interested in agriculture or, uh, I don't know, um, hairdressers or, or many others. So you can find dedicated sites online where you should be active because you have the chance to network over there. And uh, through the network, you can be recommended um, to work, cooperate, uh, with many, many companies. And what's more important, you have a chance to meet very, very interesting people, sometimes people on very high positions, directors, CEOs, that normally you wouldn't be able to. Because they seldom, they seldom uh, go to regular work fairs. Uh, so online is the only place you can reach them, really. Okay. Okay, so I don't see another questions. So what are we doing now? <laughs> You've got um, <clears throat> summer vacations. And this is to mainly to students. So have some rest, um, chill, and uh, when the when the fall comes, uh, I would encourage you to uh, stay hungry, stay foolish, be open, don't be afraid to ask questions, uh, come up with initiatives, don't be afraid to ask um, uh, for help. Wait a moment, please. We have one more question. There you go. Uh, question is from Adam Pasnik. Should our online branding be more focused on engagement with other accounts or rather blog style with focus on our own life earnings? There is really no golden rule, I think. Uh, sometimes you might be lucky, uh, you might send the first email to a person you don't know or you heard of, and uh, it, it might do the trick. Sometimes you have to, you have to spend some little more time. So it's, it's, there's no golden rule, really. As long as you are active and you publish something and you read um, posts, you attend webinars, it's really the most important thing. There's no golden rule. We have a question from Natalia Klimoniuk. OK. Uh, what do you do with the summer focus? Uh, if you still want to have a good profile on social media, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just don't uh, post it because the employer probably will not like it. You know, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm quite active on LinkedIn. Uh, and from time to time, there's this post that is published. LinkedIn is not Facebook. Keep it professional. So in, in uh, websites such as this one, I would keep it slightly more professional. I don't, I'm not saying that you always need to have a, 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 a picture with a bow tie or, or, or a tie, very smart, but just keep it, keep it quite official. I wouldn't post a photo of myself as, the, uh, as a part of my branding with the background of my garden. Uh, so I wouldn't do that. Just keep it a little more professional, I think. It's, in the same rule, you, you know, you don't, yeah, you don't wear your pajamas when you go to the theater. So, uh, I, I, w I would stick it at the more, a little more professional level. And another question from Prisi Uramini: uh, How can we sure if uh, one's LinkedIn account is good 
and can attract recruiters? Good question. Um, if you look at the LinkedIn account, you've got like, um, it's, um, it's not just plain text. You can have a photo, you can have a brief um, summary, who you are. Um, there is a, the biggest part, I guess, of course, it's your experience. But the most important thing is to have it properly edited. Don't forget about mentioning your skills. Don't forget about your hobbies. Um, don't forget to write a few words about yourself. I'm a young, ambitious person looking for an internship and in some international company, something. Just keep, have it edited. And uh, by all means, I would add a nicely edited photo. Uh, it's, always, it's, always, uh, it's always good. Uh, if you are an active uh, job seeker, I would, uh, I would point out maybe what kind of uh, positions are you interested in, or maybe if you are open to relocation, relocating, I would, I would emphasize that as well. So the more fields you fill, the more, the more edited this profile is, the better. And of course, don't forget to, to add your email address. Sometimes people even add phone numbers. Okay, so we searching friendly questions. And as I see, it's done. Thank you very much, Mr. Lukas, Thank for you. being here with us today. Thank you, our dear viewers, for being here with us today. <laughs> it was great. And today, for your reading, President of the Council of UITM, Ilona Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a good vacation.